Hi everyone, okay, this is Gary Kasparov against Luke Van Whaley, played at the prestigious chorus tournament at Wiccan Z in the year 2000. Van Whaley, if you don't know him, is a very strong Dutch grandmaster. He was rated 2646 when this was played. Kasparov was about 150 points ahead of him and proved his superiority in style with this win. He had the white pieces and opened with e4, after which came c5, so the Sicilian defense, and after knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, and a6, the game has gone into the Nidorf variation, which uh, we saw Kasparov using in a previous video to destroy Vichy and Anand, and now we'll see one very instructive way of how to play against it. Play continued with the book lines bishop e3, e6, and f3, which is going into the English attack, a dangerous weapon against the knight off with white castling queenside and throwing up his kingside pawns. So b5, and Van Whaley wastes no time and immediately begins the minority attack on the queenside, characteristic of the Sicilian defense. So g4, h6 to prevent g5, queen d2, knight bd7. Kasparov castle queenside, bishop b7, h4, b4, and knight a4, which stops the black pawn storm in its tracks, so Van Whaley goes for the center instead with d5, which is still within the book lines, although it's risky for black to open up the position as his king is still in the center and he's behind in development. Bishop h3 from Kasparov which is uh, taking aim at e6, which can be a strong square for sacrifices in this line. It also threatens g5 and later g6 in order to undermine the support of e6. So the reply g5, which is what Van Whaley, pl Van Whaley played, is often seen despite the further weaknesses it creates. And it's the last book move in this game. Normal here is h takes g5 but Kasparov now deviated from the book lines and played instead bishop g2 and presented with his first over the board move Van Whaley effectively blundered with g takes h4 because this weakens the king side too much better here was rook g8 which Kasparov recommended after the game now white is only slightly better, nothing more than in the opening of a normal game of chess, although black does have some weaknesses and now cannot castle on the king's side. He should be able to get sufficient counterplay to make a game of it. And with the game continuation, white gets a very strong attack. Playing instead... Oops, hold on. Rook g8 is one possibility, and playing instead d takes e4 is a bad move because after h takes g5, e takes f3, bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, knight takes f3, knight takes g4, bishop d4, white has good compensation for the pawn, and black's king has nowhere safe to go. So, g takes h4. And now rook takes h4 with the threat of g5, which would be a for a strong move. And d takes e4 is what Van Whaley played and the best move he has. Playing instead knight takes e4, discovering an attack on this rook is bad because after f takes e4, queen takes h4, best play continues, e takes d5, e takes d5, bishop takes d5, bishop takes d5, knight f5 attacking the queen. The best square for the queen is f6. And now queen takes d5, rook d8, bishop d4, and white is easily winning. So, d takes e4 anyway is uh, what Van Whaley played. And now came g5, and black can't take the pawn or he loses the rook. So, knight d5, and now rook takes e4, and Kasparov regains the pawn, and now he has a strong attack with an, a sacrifice on e6 looking very promising thanks to the unusual rook move to get it to the e-file and h takes g5 is what Van Whaley played now which was really the only move available to him anything else would allow Kasparov to crash through his defenses for example if uh, knight takes e3 
Then knight takes e6, f takes e6, rook takes e6, check. King f7, queen takes e3, and white's attack will win him the game easily. So h takes g5. Bishop takes g5 and queen a5. Perhaps better here for black was queen takes g5. And after queen takes g5, bishop h6. Knight takes e6, bishop takes g5, check. Knight takes g5, check. Where white is only a pawn up, and although he has better development and the initiative, it's preferable to the game continuation. Because after queen a5, Kasparov played f4, which is a very calm move and a great one from Kasparov, leaving his knight to be taken by the queen and ensuring that his attack will be decisive while also bringing the light square bishop into play along this diagonal. A lot of players would have rushed here and sacrificed immediately, but after f takes e6, oops, hold on, f takes e6, rook takes e6, check, but after king f7, queen e2, rook c8, f4, this is all best play, and rook h2, it's uh, an unclear position with neither side having direct threats or any kind of certain advantage for the game. So f4, and rook h2 from Van Whaley, which is really the best defense available to him. The knight on a4 was immune, thanks to Kasparov having played f4. Let's have a quick look. If queen takes a4, then best play continues. Knight takes e6, f takes e6, rook takes e6, check, knight e7, bishop takes b7, with a big advantage for white. So, rook h2. And now the sacrifice finally takes place. And it's by far the strongest move in the position, and now white is winning in every continuation. Van Whaley accepted with f takes e6, and it was his best option really. If instead bishop e7, now comes knight g7 check, king f8, bishop takes e7 check, king takes g7, rook g1, and white is again easily winning. So f takes e6, rook takes e6 check, and king f7, which is the only decent defense for, one, for Van Whaley. Other moves lose immediately, for example, if bishop e7, then rook takes e7 check, and king f8 is forced. If knight takes e7, then queen takes d7 check, king f8, queen takes e7 check, king g8, rook d7, and it's game over, it's mate in 3. So king f8, but now queen d d4 is absolutely winning for white. So king f7. And now queen d3 from Kasparov, which is the game-winning move, threatening mate with queen g6, and black is completely defenseless. Van Whaley tried bishop g7. If instead king takes e6, now, now comes bishop takes d5 check, bishop takes d5, queen g6 check, knight f6, queen takes f6 check, king d7, rook takes d5 check, queen takes d5, knight b6 check. King c7, knight takes d5, and black won't last much longer. So, bishop g7, and now queen f5 check, and king g8 is the best move. If instead bishop f6, then bishop takes d5, bishop takes d5, rook takes d5, and again black is completely helpless. So, king g8, now rook takes d5. And finally the knight on a4 falls, but now Kasparov plays rook e7, and here Van Whaley resigned because he has too many threats to meet, and white is winning in, in every continuation. By a long way the move that Fritz recommends in order to defend is king h8, and now white has a number of ways to win. One is simply rook e takes d7, and after bishop takes d5, rook takes g7. Again, there's absolutely no defense for black. If king takes g7, then it's mate in 4. With queen f6 check, king h7, bishop e4 check. And if the bishop takes on e4, it's mate in 2. With um, queen f7 check and bishop f6. So king g8, and bishop takes d5 check. 
and it's made into king h7, queen f7 check, king h8, and bishop f6 is mate. So that's it, another great game from Kasparov. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments or thoughts. Thanks very much.